All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Reseller Clickbait Podcast, episode 118. I'm here with Ken, SSK Promo, Seasonal Santa, Mr. Bill, DOG. I read those out of order, but you get it. And <laughs> me, Corey, Grams of Pops Vintage. We've got a good show for you today, and I don't know what Why that not? is because I just made that up. But Ken will make it fun. Why didn't you read that as Pops and Grams Vintage? You messed mine up. You read well, Corey from Pops and Grams Vintage. I, I did it right. The important one got it right. <laughs> I was noticing when we started recording here. Easier. I only have one reason, name. The time. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they, I, yeah, StreamYard. They won't let me put more than like 50 characters across there. I'd put all of oh, my no. names on there if I could. Well, if, most uh, names aren't a paragraph. I see, you know, StreamYard's raising that, raising the rates. And we were talking about that a little bit. I saw uh, Shane, um, Soda City Flips, doing his live, it. testing out, uh, what was it cut? EV, EV Mux EV or something Mux? like that. Yeah, cut like him that. off after 30 minutes. It cut him off. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the paid version or the, the free version Everyone. cut him off after 30 minutes. But uh, but I don't know if that would let me put more names into there. I might have to think I about that. Ken was telling me in the background that he money's money's not an issue. Just don't worry about <laughs> it. Just we're streaming arts fine. <laughs> said upgrade it. <laughs> I don't know why when we started to record, when I pushed record, it said that we had already been recording for like a minute and 47 seconds. I don't know. I think that's a lie. Well, StreamYard it, it, well, lied to us again. See how it is? They lied to us when they they stuck their fee raise down in the... I think I they saw kick it. us off just for bad mouthing them on their platform. Well, they might. I'm sure they've been getting quite a bit of bad mouth. Well, hell, did you see... If you watched Shane the other night, he he mixed no words at all. With no, his matter of fact, he gave thoughts. us a good reseller tip. Cancel okay. your subscription to StreamYard. Wow, I just okay. whistled for some reason. Cancel your subscription to StreamYard. And then when they ask you why, put a really nasty gram in the comment. And they'll come back with an email and offer you 20% off for the next month. And when that's over, just do it again. Just keep doing, <laughs> just keep doing that. Uh, Shane always dropping the the knowledge and the tips over yep. there. Uh, get, or get asking the for tips. Asking for tips there. <laughs> if you if you need to leave some super chats and some tips, go see. Go you see might Shane. be on to something. Guys, super chat down below. It's down by yeah. the chat. Oh, we got one of those. So I'm going to talk now about we need that the money. in a little bit. Uh, we were talking a little bit there before the show about how the you know yard sale season is over, and it's like uh, all these different sourcing and what are we going to do, and it's going to be difficult to you know find things, and you have to change stuff up. But uh, that was but the then topic it, of our previous video on Grams and Pops Vintage. Oh I mean, yes, that was the whole topic of the video. Yep, yeah, the, it, I think everybody's kind of facing that right now. Everybody. In the north. Yeah, exactly. South has because bigger problems. <laughs> down south. Yeah, we were talking about that. You know, there's a there's a lot of people, a lot of resellers. Well, resellers and non-resellers with the the Hurricane Helene, or I think that was it, right? Helene that came Helene through. Or Helena or uh, you know, Helena. I know some I know. sellers. It's, it's an H one. It's an H. Well, you know what they said? People I, I heard something interesting that people do not take the hurricane stuff as seriously when it's named uh, when it has a female name as they do really? when it has a male name uh for some reason i don't know statistics or whatever so uh, when bob but, rolls through people take cover yes but helene comes through and they're like man we'll see what happens but it was it was very devastating i you know what? personally know some resellers that lost everything they they lost all of their inventory all of their store having to shut down and you know I hardships of course in that area is. I don't know anybody that lost inventory. I do know quite a few people that are like still to this day, like right now as we're recording this, are still without power. Yes. And supposed to be without power for, for the next week or so still. Yeah, for a long time. And that, you know, if you're doing this particular job full time and not only do you know you there, you know, there's bigger things to worry about, but when that's your your income, um, that's that's tough. And so, you know. Our thoughts and, and prayers are out to those people that might be, you know, going through something, uh, even if they have power and even if they have, um, uh, you know, they weren't flooded or something like that. It's we even uh, had, it's a difficult time down there because everything's we had some closed down. up here, too, from that. We lost like Verizon service around the whole Midwest area was was down for like six yeah. hours, which didn't bother me because I could just put my phone down and I never noticed. Nobody calls me like I don't have friends. So I didn't really <laughs> notice. But Teresa was in a panic. Like she did not like she, being without her phone for six hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much you, 
you rely on your phone. If I, if I, you know, I usually have it in my pocket or on, I have like a little holster thing. Yeah, we become wearing, addicted to those little things. And uh, it's, it's amazing how many times a day or how many times in 10 minutes you go to your phone, whether it's just to check the time, whether it's, you know, you get a notification about something and you're all, you're all the time looking, looking at that. And well, I did realize it just, when that happened, it did. I always say that it, in any tragedy, there's opportunity like that hundred yes. percent across the board, no matter what it is. This one, I realized I could fire up an online course and teach people how to not be affected by their phones going away. Cause it, okay. it really didn't bother me. And the, and the trick is really simple. Don't tell anybody. It's just don't have friends yeah. and your phone well, doesn't it's... ring. You have no reason to be checking it. For text. <laughs> You're not getting any messages on social. Just don't have any friends. And that's perfect. Yeah. Be see, the flaw was that the Corey set that up as an app, you know, on your phone, his online course yeah. was through an app on the phone. <laughs> and so, you know, what do you do when you don't have your phone? Trade you take an online course. School. <laughs> We're going to grade that one on a curve, I think. For nineteen ninety nine a month, we'll get you. We'll get everybody straight out. Uh, that's funny, but uh, yeah. So you know, for anybody that's going through that down down south, we're we're thinking about you. Um, you know, doing what we can. Hopefully, you get back on your feet quickly. And um, and so we'll we'll switch gears to uh, let's let's switch gears to the plains. You know, we're not down there. Uh, you know, oh, waterfront, plane. beachfront property. When you're up Good there in the Omaha. plains. Plains to Omaha, profit. Nebraska. Plains to profit. Yeah, the meetup. So the, last week we announced on the show that the tickets, the website was open and the tickets are on sale. Uh, we have more pull than I thought. Like okay, that, that got some wide reach. We sold some tickets. I think excellent. As of today, I think we've got. It shows we have fourteen attendees coming. So okay, we only have like thirty six tickets left. Like a third of the tickets yeah. are gone in 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 one week. So get. Get out there, planes to profit. There'll be a, a link again down in the bottom. There was a link last week's show and a link this week. Go to planes to profit.com and get the tickets Grab quick. Ticket. That's it. They're going to go. There's going to be some celebrities there this time. I've yes. heard. Yes. Not me. Other celebrities. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, you'll be there with well, it. With a- Omaha headshot. I can't wait to see what that one looks like. I, I you know what? I, I was Dead thinking about that the other day. The I was <laughs> I was thinking about that. I have something in mind if I can if I can pull it off that I think would be a good Omaha in in winter um headshot. So It's not it's not really winter though. It's it's the last weekend of March. So it's the weekend before April. Yeah. Technically at that point it's not winter anymore. It shouldn't be. It's, it shouldn't it's be. It's early spring there. Like but, I tune uh, up the lawnmower come the last weekend of March. Really? I'm, well, some I'm of already, us our yards. Did you get yours done? I did. I did finally. You know what? I just mowed it yesterday, and and it looks like it needs mowed again already. I didn't want to mow it down too low because the grass is just coming back from being dead for yeah, like three or four weeks straight. And uh, so I, I mowed it up a, a little bit high, but even just overnight, it it feels like, man, I should get out Put there and mow again. Down, get it done with. Just get, get it, it done over for with. the season. Yeah. Well, yeah, we there's plenty of more as the leaves start to fall. You know, I have the mulcher, mulcher on the mower. And so you pick up your leaves. I don't pick them up. I just mulch them up. And, okay. you know, so sometimes you're not even really mowing at that point. You're just using the mower to uh, leaves. clean up the yard and get the blower out the, the and blow out all the corners and, and stuff. And last year, I did a real here. good job keeping up on it and. We just let them and, go. The wind takes them all away. The wind puts them in the yeah, neighbor's yard where they belong. That's what my neighbor, that my I have an elderly couple that lives next door. They they probably say that about me though. All the elderly gentlemen are that these lives next door. If you're, I was gonna say, how old are these people? If you're calling them elderly, <laughs> With the, yeah, they're much. They're in their eighties. They're in their eighties. Uh, and she asked me that question the other day. She's like, "What do you usually do about your?" the leaves in your yard. And I, and I said, Oh, I just usually wait till the wind blows them over into your yard. And yep. uh, she just, she's kind of looking at me <laughs> like, no, I just pick them up with the, the mulching mower. And, um, but the, the, the planes of profit, you said some, 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 blah, 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 blah. man, no, I, I didn't get that out. I didn't do you that. Said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what he had said was, <laughs> wait, uh, Mike Matko celebrity. Coming. Yeah, Mike's going to be the, there this year. The That's how you know the event is official because Mike goes to all the good events. He and does. He's going to be there this year. 
he does. And uh, and I want to give I just want to give a, a a special shout out to to Mike Metco. Uh, been watching the show forever, commenting. We talked last week about um, the streamyard rates going up, and we were kind of goofing, and 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 he left a, a really nice comment and and gave us a, a super chat or a super thanks. I think it's called a super thanks. Is in that the, why we still uh, have Streamyard? Did right you now, yes. up because of Mike. Yes, I did, Thank and you, we're Mike. still on board. <laughs> well, technically, I guess he gave me enough it, with what I was normally paying. We could go another couple of months uh because well, you know his money with his money with my money and and we're good but i'm gonna send that i'm gonna send out something to mike because you know we were playing uh, playing around with some uh cliffhanger stuff and and uh making it seem like the videos were cutting off and and uh just kind of playing that up with mike he was like uh, upset about it i'm gonna send out a special <laughs> viewer just a viewer appreciation we've never done this before and we might do this from time to time uh so mike uh hit me up on yeah i know that you're probably watching this uh, and if I don't hear anything out of you, I will I will get with you directly. But hit me up on Instagram, uh, get me your address, and I'm going to send you out a special viewer appreciation pack. Um, you might be one of our only non-family member fans that have watched the podcast since before we were good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> before, <laughs> but I'm going to say I'm going to send you out first of all a sticker pack. I don't have all of my stuff up here. Why is everything not around? But You're you'll so get a Grams of Pop sticker. You'll get some SSK promo stickers. We're going to send you out a copy of Corey's book, Corey the oh, Author, the Pandemic Life of a Midwestern, a Midwesterner. Um, Firestarter. And I'm going to send you, and it is signed. It is signed on the inside. Oh, and okay, the only event that I've been to that Mike wasn't at was the Nashville meetup. And so well, I'm going to send him. I said he goes to all the good ones. <laughs> man the nashville meetup was epic though i heard so, that one was a lot of fun i can't send him the nashville headshot because th these are exclusive. exclusive you gotta be at the event but i did have a special one reserved for special people and only a few of these are out there so i'm going to send i am going to send mike you you're going to get the, the the ken the cowboy ken looking uh, dapper headshot. uh oh and of course you know from our sponsor Directly from our sponsor, which I had to pay for, uh, I'm going to send you out some dude wipes, <laughs> some dude wipes as well, uh, minty fresh chill. You know, I pay for those out of my my own money. So Mike Metco, and look forward to seeing you at Planes to Profit and at all of the other meetups. Yeah, I'm excited at, about Mike everywhere. being there. Yeah, last time I sure. saw Mike Great was guy. in Vegas. I think the Vegas meetup for Trash Cash. I saw yes. him there. That was the last time we saw him. And I did get to talk to him a lot, um, but we've talked quite a bit just in lives and stuff since then. So I'm really excited to meet Mike. Yeah. I got to, um, in Cincinnati, got to hang out with him in yep. Cincinnati a couple times. Yep. I think he was at both of those meetups and, and in Vegas and, Oh, that was after um, Vegas, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. Timelines are hard for old people. <laughs> Mike, I was at both. <laughs> yes. So, so shout out to Mike Metco and, uh, and the viewer of the first viewer appreciation gift there you go. award. I don't think viewer it's really an award. I should get an award for for what? For for viewing, just for being okay. here. Really, like I'll take the participation <laughs> trophy. <laughs> what 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 did I say beforehand? Oh, we were talking about the um behave, the upcoming <laughs> the the holiday live tour stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, I'll go into that. We were going to talk about that later, but. Um, we were talking about getting guests for the holiday live tour, uh, shows the, the four shows. Um, the first one is going to be Wednesday, October 30th. So Halloween mark show. your calendars for that. Probably 8 PM. That'll be the Halloween show. Um, but we were if talking we get about guests. Figured out, we might have a guest. Yes. And, uh, you know, we got to pay, get best guests big time for, to come on, you know, they're not going to waste their time <laughs> with this nonsense. But we, we were talking about whether, like, if we were going to have single guests, if we were going to have multiple guests, like, from the from the same show, like, maybe a Stephen Donna from Mixed A Happy Hearts or, or somebody like that, uh, you know, so different people that are on shows. And um, and I what, what did I say? Something like, oh, we wanted to match said, up. No, people. I hate all those people. That's what he <laughs> said, guys. What he said, don't even lie to you. He's only cheery yeah. when the camera's on. I'm not inviting anybody. 
Um, <laughs> no, I was, I was saying we don't we want to make sure that the guests, if we get two guests from two different shows, that they kind of might be familiar with each other or that they're not completely different. We don't want to have two people on the show where one person's like over the top festive for the holiday and the other person is uh is like just yeah, and I said, sitting there doing forbid. nothing and makes like, no effort towards it. And it's like <laughs> that just wouldn't make sense on this show at all. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, like, are we not are we not friends anymore? Is that no one would even <laughs> recognize the show? <laughs> you can't get you can't get any two different levels. Of this is this is why we need paid guys. This is exactly why we need to be paid to do this. Yes, exactly. Oh man, that's nice. But uh, so yeah, there. Cat out of the bag. Wednesday, the thirtieth of October. Halloween live tour. The first year three Seven o'clock central. Year three of the holiday live tours and you know games and prizes and giveaways and is it year three of that merriment already? and fun it is it is yes holy cow i was just looking back like we could do it. this show has been on for over three years i know why don't Crazy. we have any subscribers never mind i, think I, know, I know the answer to that well it could be i have know, ideas on why common denominator like <laughs> you know santa's only good at a certain season that's the problem that's, that's right the viewing goes up in the holiday christmas season and yeah. then just plummets well, that's a good First thing of the, year. the lives are coming up that's right we'll be able to get get folks in Seven. here get some new subscribers we actually have been getting some new subscribers here recently i the Ooh. count has been you know growing slowly and uh they're coming and it's in. fun and because everybody just loves all the whatnot chat Corey. That's what it is. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I try to keep him reined in on that whole whatnot garbage, but it's what he's doing right now, so it's relevant, and it's it's hard not to talk about what you're doing. So yeah. we got to have a little whatnot stuff in here. But just just for our viewers from last, I'm Team Frank. If if you don't know what that means, look in the comments from the last video. I get it, Frank. Team, no, <laughs> Freddie, your Team Frank. Freddie, see, I, I don't even have a team anymore. See, he don't I even just know. Oh. My potential. Okay, speaking of Franks, though, uh, for for us and our job, you know, everybody everybody out there, and we're all pickers and stuff. Uh, R.I.P. to to Frank from American Maybe that's Pickers. What I was thinking Frank. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, yep. Frank passed that's away it. this week, and it is it is that was always a good, uh, you know, fun show. show to watch, and and uh, you know, it made the only thing it was is that like when I go to the local flea markets and stuff, everybody thought they were Mike and Frank. You know, oh, they, you know that they're pickers, and this stuff is is worth all of this money, and some well, of it is good create, stuff and has value. I think he created a lot of markets. I think he he created a whole generation of people that think every road sign is worth four million dollars. But he also yes. created a whole a whole bunch of new markets that weren't really great markets before. Well, not just him. I mean, his part yeah, helped too. Frank and, and Mike. What was yeah. his name? Mike. Mike. Yeah, I do think they opened up new markets for resellers too, but that was always a fun show. That that was probably the yeah. first real show about reselling that I ever sat and watched. Yeah. Now, and, I wouldn't take any of the advice off that show. Like, it's purely entertainment, but it was a oh, fun yeah. show to watch. It was. And uh, so what, it was September 30th at Frank Fritz. So RIP, Fritz. Frank Fritz. Had I thought about it, I'd have, I'd have had a picture and I'd have thrown it up wasn't here. There, wasn't there some drama with that Danielle girl that was on there leaving the show? What was yeah, up with that? I don't know. I don't know what I don't know the, either. Somebody tell us what the drama was with Danielle. I don't feel like yeah. I'm up to date on that. Maybe she just went back to full time burlesque dancing. Maybe. Probably more lucrative <laughs> than trying to pick a bar and paying those prices. I want I want to go to that place though. Next time I am in Nashville, I want to go to their Nashville store uh for well, the American Pickers. That's gonna be here in Iowa, Iowa, just across just over next door to South Dakota here. They were in Iowa oh, really? originally. Yep. Man, see, we're we're learning all kinds of things. I could read. If I got my geography right, I believe they started in Iowa. Ah. Da, 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 da. I yeah, could be I off. Know. I know. It was a, it was a long day been. today. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. What'd you do today? What'd you do? To, what'd you do that was reseller? Let's maybe we'll talk about some reseller stuff. It's our or. it's our sourcing day today. So we sourced all day. Okay. So we, Teresa sourced all week and I didn't know it. She was online buying stuff and didn't tell me until this morning when we left the house that we had to go to an auction house to pick up a bunch of stuff. I'm like, okay. you mean bid on it? She said, no, no, no. 
just just pick it up. Just pick, she's already <laughs> bought, bought and paid. She had already it. bought it. So <laughs> we found out. Well, I found out today that we okay. have a new auction house, and I don't think it's very new, but I, we just discovered it. It's new to us. Okay, new to you. Yeah. So she was. They had, they do online bidding, and it's a local auction house where you go pick it up. Oh, that's cool. And I know we have two of them in the area, but she found this new one and she was bidding on stuff. And I was like, why would you buy all this junk? And now I got to go pick it up. But when we got there, she bought a box. One of the things she bought was a box. It, it was like a one of the flats you put a case of pop in. Okay. And there was four or five really, really nice shaped vintage Notre Dame hats in it. Okay. And I think she paid $2.50 nice. for the box. So oh, all the really? other stuff she bought, I was like, okay, you can have the rest of that junk. Like these are mine. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Is, were they were they vintage? You said they were vintage Notre Dame. Yeah, they're early nineties. Oh. oh, sweet. And they're in yeah, they're so, in really good shape. A couple of them have a little yellowing in the headband, but I think I can get them all clean. And the, yeah. one of them, probably the oldest one, they have two two vintage like Notre Dame pins, like the Fighting Irish pins in the hat. Oh, okay. So I gotta I gotta see if I can get those out without messing the hat up, or if I have to leave them on the hat. We'll find out. But yeah, that I was might add to the value. We did. We hit like thirteen garage sales, and then we hit that auction to pick stuff up, and then. And then she also surprised me. She lined up a, a private pick with a, okay. with a bookseller. Well, they're not strictly a bookseller, I guess. Okay. Long story short. They just had books. They Did bought, I think they had 3,000 books, and they were all in these big Gaylords, the, the, the big cardboard pallets. Okay. And, she, and they were in a storage unit. So she lined it up for us to go and just scan through all the books and see if we wanted to buy anything. Oh, okay. So you weren't having to buy the whole Gaylord or the whole pallet or whatever we were, you were allowed to pick. We choose? were going to. We started negotiating on buying everything, but then we saw okay. the the amount of books. And yeah. We were like, "That's not practical in any way." And yeah. and when we got there, we found out they were all like Amazon return bin pallets. Okay. So there's there's a whole lot of like self published stuff that's just it has no value. Kind of like that yeah. book you're giving Mike of mine. Yeah, kind of like. Uh... Uh, what had kind of like the pandemic life of a Midwesterner? Was yep. there a bunch of these in there? Because we know these <laughs> no, didn't sell very well. Look, they don't bother. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we did between Teresa and I, we scanned about seventeen hundred books today. Wow! And out of that many books, we took fifty-five home. And okay. it was about a four and a half hour, just sitting in a storage unit, just scanning book after book after book. Like you booksellers are crazy. That shit's exhausting. Uh huh. My back hurt like that. Yeah. That and the the rate of good to bad is crazy. What kind of what kind of books then did you did you choose? Are they like novels by authors, or are they like textbooks? Or what, no, what we you we scanned it with with Scout IQ. It's an app that connects to Amazon to tell me which books are worth selling on Amazon. Okay, so it'll actually tell me if they have a good sell through rate on Amazon and and what my profit would be after fees. And it, okay. we just scan them all with that. So we just wait for the app to turn green, and we anything that turns green we put in a pile. Anything that turns red we put back. Like it's okay. We weren't getting real scientific, but most most of the stuff we brought home was nonfiction stuff. A lot of biographies and okay. stuff like that. So now is that Scout IQ? There. Is that something? Is that an app that you have to pay for? Yeah, it's like or ten bucks it? a month. Okay. Yep. Teresa, but that could Teresa's be like one book worth, right? One good sale yeah. of a book that, that has a good sale through rate. And yep. But Teresa scanned about 800. She scanned more than I did. She scanned like 870 books or something. And, and I think that she's on the 14 day trial. So she didn't even pay for hers. Like I just couldn't scan them all. Oh, with okay. So I just had her sign up for the trial. Will she, will you be able to share the app or like, Pay one monthly fee and you both use it on no, your phone? No, they link it to your phone. So you can only okay. do it from one phone. You can add an extra gotcha. user to the app so somebody else okay. can use it on their phone. But it's more expensive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. More it's expensive more expensive than just to do buying that. two different. Doing di yep. So Scout, what'd you say? Scout IQ? I yep. ID? Scout, Scout IQ. Oh, oh um, there you Alex, go. That's interesting. Alex from, well, now he's Book Desk Media. Beard King Picker. He, he put me onto that app. That's I should have I should have done that I should have I should have done that. We I don't think talk anybody should do it after doing it for four hours. Like I'm now I can't complain. It was four hours of work, and I think we brought home I I don't know probably fifteen hundred dollars worth of books if we can send them all in. Okay. That are that are good books that we could sell. 
So I think we did like our hourly rate for doing that work is going to be really good, but man, that is some work. Yeah. Right? Well, that's yeah, cool that they book people that they let you cherry pick the books out of, yeah. out of the bins. Now, are there, did you get through, obviously you probably didn't get through all of the bins. No. Are you guys going to go back again? I ain't to never this going back. Private... <laughs> <laughs> no, until we would next, like to go back. They're, they're until doing next their, Thursday they're when Teresa sale. says. Yeah, they're doing a garage sale Saturday. We got okay. early access to go in for the books. Okay. They had a whole cool. other storage unit that's garage sale stuff. That they were like, well, if you want to peek, you can peek. And they opened the door and we were like, no, nah, we're done. Like it yeah. was packed all the way to the door, floor to ceiling. And we had just dug for four hours. So we, we just said that it's, it's fine. Like we're not going to do that. But I did, they had a tote up on top of one of the, the pallets in there. And it was, I think we got 10, 10 Packers hats, like Green Bay Packers. Okay. And some of those are early, early to mid nineties too. So we got to, we got a bunch of hats out of there. There was one hat. She would not let me have, and I tried okay. to buy it like four times, and it was it was a shark tooth like Packers hat, cool yeah. cool hat, but she wasn't about to let go of it. Uh, it was uh oh I had a, a hat story, but I don't want to tell his hat story. Chris Cajun, Chris Cajun sent me a thing about a hat the other day. Um, yeah, go watch, go watch, <laughs> go watch uh, Chris Cajun. I don't know if he'll if he'll post about that, but uh, on his IG or whatever. Um. The, yeah, I see people. They must be using that that app. I'll see people in the in the thrift store. Yeah, at the yeah. at the most likely. Goodwill or whatever, and they're just going. They're at standing at the book racks, and they're just a deep, yep. deep, that's deep what they're doing one after another. And anything uh, that so, anything that shows profitable, we'll box up and we'll send into Amazon. That way, they're off our see, shelves and they're gone. Corey, you've got me confused. You're you're a contradiction. You're a contradiction of yourself. Am because I? it's not you are no it's it's not i think we're learning that that uh <laughs> because if i know you in conversations with you and conversations that we've had on here two of your least favorite things to source or to to sell are books and hats yeah, right and so is that the state of where we're at with uh with the the ending of yard sale well, season and stuff now that all Corey is sourcing is no yes, hats and in, in books it goes it goes pretty deep it goes pretty deep the, the, the reason <laughs> okay. and, and it goes back to my childhood <laughs> the, we we learned because i had three brothers and and uh -huh. we grew up we had we had to grow up a little tough because we weren't very smart so we just had to be a little bit tougher okay so whenever you had a tummy ache you you got like eggs and tabasco sauce like if your tummy's punishing you you punish it back okay. so reselling's beating on me with hats and books so i'm beating back i, I ain't a quitter <laughs> <laughs> wow what a what an, an, an analogy i or is that an analogy or is that just a uh no, correlation a i think that's that... how we do it in the wolf <laughs> <laughs> i should have i should have got that that um i scout scout iq thing because i i actually just donated really a should. bunch of books you and i <laughs> you and i had talked about this uh because i found like a couple like Oh, the the big size like moving boxes like that you would get at like Home Depot or whatever, filled with books. And then there was another another bag full of books. And I had brought them home the other day, and they were still in my truck. And I thought, you know, I just really don't want to deal with books. As you and I had talked about like maybe finding the the different authors, grouping up lots of yep. books under the authors, and and I kind of looked at some stuff, and um. There was a num number of those like, oh, romance, you know, like the yeah. old Harlequin romance, you know, where you got, you know, up. Fabio on the front and, you know, he's bare chested, <laughs> holding on to, holding on to some mostly bare chested lady. Um, and, but no, there were some other, oh, some crafting sort of books and some other, and other things. And so I needed to have the space in my truck. I'm out of space in my garage. So I thought where where I was taking my packages that day over to the postal store, there the the Salvation Army is right on the end of the building. And so as I was pulling by, the door okay. was open. I thought, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna donate these books. And uh and so I stopped and this the kid comes out from the thing. Um uh, it, it was just a funny interaction. I, this isn't even a great story. So if you want to hear like not a great story, <clears throat> go ahead and just tune out right now. 
Um, We've got about 32 minutes of not a great story going so far. So <laughs> <laughs> keep going. So, <laughs> we got them on the so, hook. They got to hear to the end now. I, I, when the kid comes out, I roll down the window and I say, Hey, do you take books, you know, for donations? And he's like, yeah, sure. Uh, and then he says, how are you doing today? I said, Oh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? And he's like, well, you don't, you don't really want to know the answer to that question. And I'm like, wait to what, if you're, how are you today? He's like, yeah, don't even ask me how I'm, how I'm doing today. But he's got the, like this kind of like a bright cheery attitude. It's like, you, you really don't want to know. So I go, well, all right, then is it kind of just been one of those days? He's like, well, let me tell you, you had to I'm do. really busy. So I'm really busy. And I would really just like to tell you to leave and not even unload these books, but <laughs> you didn't do anything to me. So I'll Dude, unload them. But just Take don't ask me special. how my day is or how I'm doing today. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like totally confused. I'm like, because he's got this, you know, cheery attitude. And he, I like he had, this uh, already. He, I, I don't know. He had like part of his hair was colored like red oh, or pink like or anything. something like that. You know, kind of long hair. <laughs> and, uh, and so I'm just like, well, you know, I said again, awesome, well, you know, every, all of us have those kind of days. He's like, yeah. So just don't ask me how mine's going. I was like, fair enough. And by you that time he had that. unloaded the, the boxes of books and put them in the, <laughs> in the cart and I hopped back in the truck and, and off I went and he kind of, you know, skipped his way back into the, into the building. Know, if, but, somebody, if somebody actually told me, don't ask me how my day is going, I think I would probably just respect that. I think I would, I would take that advice. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't actually ask him. I just said, oh, you know, having one of those days. And, just and twisted and the I, screwdriver a little bit. I just want to, I would really rather just ask you to leave. And he's like, but you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything to me. So, and then, I don't know. It was just, <laughs> if he was like, being naughty or nice, he wouldn't have had to ask. What, what sort of customer service? Yeah, that's right. Seasonals. Oh, look here, Corey, let's give a, let's you give a, give a, a candy update. cane. You'd, you'd probably yeah. change this whole day. I don't, I don't have my candy canes with me yet because I'm not, uh, here we go. Here's a beard. Look at that. Not bad for another week's worth of, week's well, worth of growth. It's pre, it's pre Santa. So now you just look old. You could have just slipped him a Werther's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, here's a butterscotch, Sonny. It's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the bleaching of my beard a little earlier this year than I normally, than I normally do. Uh, I'm you just, know, I'm I, getting, I would I'm, almost like to go back and just like run AI on the, the whole series of reseller clickbait podcasts and see how many times bleaching has been said. <laughs> like we're proud. That's why we don't have viewers. We're in the wrong category. <laughs> People are finding us for the wrong search term. <laughs> I don't, I have to work that into the, uh, into the title this week. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I'm, podcast. I might do it. I might do it a little, a little earlier this year, getting fun and festive. Oh, we, I talked about that last night. I was a guest, just a shout out to, uh, Regina, Michelle and, uh, Derek fundamentals over at the hump day hangout. Uh, and to to a good friend, New England Betty Boop, let's set. Um, I was on their their show this week, the Hump Day Hangout, and Freddy, just that's a, on, just a fun that's show. On what not, Freddie? It's on no, what that's not. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's on Regina Michelle, Regina Michelle's channel, uh, here on YouTube. What's and, it on YouTube? Uh, I didn't see that. You're gonna yeah. have to send me a link so I can go watch. I didn't. Oh, see Oh yeah, it. I'll put a I'll put a link down. I'll put a link down below. Everybody can go. You Sorry, can go Freddy. watch. So that my episode gets more views than than when Paul Philly Flipper was on. So the uh, but I'll it was a it, it was a fun show. It was great. I, I talked about you know the whole seasonal Santa experience and and you, you know why I do it. What I do. I did say bleaching quite a bit. I'm I sorry, did. guys. Why do I have to apologize <laughs> for you so much? I well, I don't know. Do but do you do you really have to? I, do. I feel uh, I feel like one of those parents <laughs> of bad kids that goes to Target and then. You, you can't yeah, whoop them yeah. in Target, but you want to. Yes. You know, I always say that. I always say that that my parents, my parents should raised me well. They should have <laughs> whooped me. Yeah, more often. No, hey, I'm I'm from the generation where you got a whooping, and when 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 my dad reached down and his belt wasn't there, and he's like, "Go get Whoop my belt," 
and you had to <laughs> go too. down in the other one because there there was no getting out of it. You know when you got back with that belt. Now I'm not they talking about I was it. I was never. Oh, you don't want to do that. You oh, don't no. want to do that. He always, he always said you you outrun the belt, you, know, you get the buckle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know nowadays, if you just give a kid a stern talking to, they want to call in child services and stuff. But back in my day, I was I was oh, never. Now. You, you go whip that belt off now to get after a kid, and they're going to run out the front door yelling, Beto, 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 you're going yeah, to jail. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. It's just nuts. Uh, you know, I, I was I never abused as a child, but I tell you what, I learned right from wrong, and I never did the wrong thing twice because oh, I, did. I did the wrong know. thing several times, but I'm a again, <laughs> slow learner, not smart, grew up a little <laughs> tougher. <laughs> so that's, um, uh where are we? Where are we? oh yeah yeah because my my <laughs> folks they they raised me they raised me white right they gave me good they raised me white and they raised me right um man can we edit <laughs> <laughs> look at that i hit the table so hard my camera moved <laughs> Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right. So well, anyway, my my parents raised me correctly, and somewhere after that, I I went I went awry, if you will. Um, you know, some of the things that I'll say and and that I'll I'll you know. If you just, were wondering why that jump I'm, cut was there, just just <laughs> use your imagination. That got or that got philosophical there. <laughs> if we don't jump cut it, then just disregard <laughs> just disregard that. Uh, I don't know. As I had, uh, honest. <laughs> oh, mercy you sakes. Kill me here. Mercy kill sakes. Me, Smalls. Uh, oh, that was a great movie. That was a good movie. A, Sandlot? Shout out to Sandlot. Yep. yep. Oh, shout out oh, to, speaking of the crying. Sandlot, something that we didn't talk about that we should have. Um, um, I, why can't I think of his name now? I don't know. You brought it up. Uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> Um, what about Darth Vader? Why is that Sandy? Uh, why can't I think of his name? We're gonna change our name. We're gonna have to recopyright the with the two old guys podcast, like James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Shout out to James Earl Jones that passed away here. Uh, did he pass away too? He did. Yes. You know, I'm just learning. Uh, stuff well, now. So that was back at the beginning of September. Uh, beginning of that. September. James Earl Jones passed away, of course, the voice of Darth Vader, but he was in the sand lot. He was the, yeah, was the, old the guy. guy that owned Goliath. Was the dog's yep, name Goliath? Dog. I don't know. It's yeah. just a giant um, just a giant beast of a dog is all I remember. Of course, James Earl Jones was in a ton of stuff. Um, Field of Dreams. It's in Field of Dreams is a great coming to America. Um, Lion King, of course, the voice uh, um, of what was it, Mufasa or whatever? And um, I man, he's a great voice no actor. I didn't know he was I don't in. No, if I'm right, tell me in the chat if I'm right. I'm not going to look that up right now. But yeah, James Earl Jones passed away. There was a number of people. Pete Rose, Pete Rose passed away this week. Mister Baseball, yeah, passed away. Mister um, Mister Baseball, he was pretty controversial though. From what I, I'm not a sports guy, but I think he was kind of controversial from what I remember. Well, yeah, he, he got didn't he like lifetime the, use steroids. No, 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 no. That wasn't him. He's a bet on, uh, he was betting on baseball. Was? Yeah. When he was the manager of the Reds. And so he got a lifetime that ban the from the, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, for some reason yeah. I was thinking he got in some steroid trouble or something. Cause didn't he, didn't he have like a ton of home runs? No, no, no. He's the all time hit leader though. The, the hit, hit leader. leader. Yeah. You know, nothing about sports. Do you see Corey? sports trivia gone wrong? Ta -da. That's <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do during the holiday live tours. We'll do sports trivia, uh, which is sports trivia. Corey against whatever guests that we have. And uh, newsflash: I may not have bought Green Bay Packer hats today. They they could be Garfield Elementary from in town. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> I guess you did know the sports teams. Yeah, the Packers and the and the Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish. Notre Dame. Oh, I should have asked. Because my older brother, he, he was a Michigan and Notre Dame fan all the way through high school. 
And those are the hats he wore all the time. And then he was a 49ers fan. So those three, I know what sport they play, and I and I know what their their emblem or logo looks like. But that's about that's about the extent of it, really. Um, how about do you know who uh uh Dikembe Matombo is? Synchronized swimmer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds Hawaiian. He's gotta be a swimmer, right? Uh no, he is not. He's a, a, a basketball player, or he was a basketball player. Okay. Um, well, I was close. I'm trying to see when when it was that, that he actually passed away. Um, he died, too. This is depressing. October 1st, Stop saying it. people that died. Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo dies, uh, yeah, at 58. Uh, so that's, hey, here's some, he was... Here's some good news. I have, I have a grandbaby being born, my third. Is gonna be born okay. within the next thirty days. Are you gonna? Are they gonna name her Dikembe? I don't think so. Okay. I haven't verified, but I don't think so. <laughs> I just thought we needed some good news because we keep mentioning people that died. Like everybody's gonna oh. leave. No, they're not because they want to get their, They want to know this because everybody. You know, we started out Frank Frank Fritz. You know, that was in our wheelhouse of reselling and 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 stuff. But how about John Amos? Do you know who John Amos is? Not a sports he on, figure. He was on like in the family or or whatever. Like no, that's John Stamos. Who's who? Yeah, Amos? John Amos. Uh, did you ever watch Good Times with you know JJ Jimmy Way to uh, Dino Mike? Oh, Dino Mike. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't, the, I didn't watch much of it, but I know what show you're talking about. Uh, he played the dad in Good Times. Uh, he was okay. also in he's Coming to America. Dude, he? Uh, he's pretty pretty big man. Pretty big man. Uh, he was also in Coming to America with uh, James Earl Jones. The, the he was dad of the the guy's girlfriend. He, the, yeah, the, the, the McDougals or whatever it was. McDowell's. 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 Yes. Yeah. Um. Uh, Chris Christopherson died recently. You know who Chris Christopherson is? I think I went to school with his sister. <laughs> you might have. <laughs> well, he was eighty-eight. How old was his sister? Man, how old? Are you? Uh, well, she was younger than me, so the uh, yeah, but Chris Christopherson, one of the one of the highwaymen with uh, what uh, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and uh, Willie Nelson. Uh, but Chris no. Christopherson, great songwriter, uh, lots of big hits. But yeah, just a you're number still of it, you're still you're still, you're still naming mentioning. I I I'm sorry. Uh, but <laughs> people, people are going to go people are either going to go oh i didn't know that and they're going to be like man i heard that first on the reseller clickbait podcast or they're going to be like well that's, yeah, that's where they go for their news is it, is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you guys are coming here for your news i, I got news for you you're you're really close to the bottom <laughs> yeah. it's, luckily for you it's all uphill from here oh uh, yeah i don't know we're gonna get marshall right. mcpeak out here so we can round out our segments We've got the obituary yeah. section covered. Man, I would have loved to have had Mark Marshall on for the um, the fall, the autumnal. I heard him say autumnal. It's going to start to feel autumnal out there. I heard him say that tonight on the uh, we don't have the poll the weather for Marshall. Report. And oh, we should get him on the holiday live tour. I just said we don't have the poll for Marshall. Like we don't, we like, don't have a chance. Don't, we don't have that kind of you budget. No, you don't know my uh, my reach spreads far, Corey. Well. I know people. I know I'm people. Be proven wrong. Outside but I want you to, of here, I want you to have the camera going when you ask him because I want to see how his laugh sounds. Huh? Who? <laughs> the what podcast? So right. I don't know. We're we're off the rails now, Corey. What? Let's let's recap. Let's recap. What what did we learn or what did we know in this episode? Everybody's dead. That, that's what we learned. Well, we did learn that. Uh, not everybody. I'm still here. I'm Mike's not so sure about you. We got, we got, we covered Mike. Mike's a good guy. Mike Metco. We, he's Mr. still around. Profit. We talked See, about playing still around. Yeah. Uh, book selling uh, is a bad idea. Book selling. Well, no. When you can go fifteen hundred dollars worth of books just for some scanning. Book selling is a lot of work. We'll we'll cap it off with that. Book selling is a ton okay. of work, but it could be profitable. Um, um, let's see. What else do we cover? Corey doesn't know anything about sports and he hates hats and Amazon, but he's, he's doing and both of those not. and, and why not, but he's not doing that. Like he's not crazy. <laughs> not getting into that. Game. Oh, speaking of whatnot, we did, I did the lady that was selling the books, the, the person that owned the storage unit, 
Okay. She's a YouTuber, we found out. Kind of kind of okay. a YouTuber. But all she okay. does on her channels is like live YouTube auctions. So like whatnot without oh. whatnot. Yeah. And that was kind of cool. So we subscribed to her just so we could go check out how that works. I, w- I was just curious how it works. It sounds like they have a pretty good turnout, even for a uh-huh. small channel. And she does quite a quite a decent amount of turnover there for for items. So that was that was cool. I I know Angie Resales does YouTube live auctions, and that's the yeah. first time I'd ever heard of it. But then we yes. met this lady. And we got to talk to her about it a little bit. It sounds interesting. It sounds way better than one dot, to be honest. <laughs> well, there's no fees. There's no fees fees involved. When you don't have to be friends with anybody, like you don't, what not the social network, they want you to be social and, and it works better when you're social. And that just sounds horrible. All of that sounds horrible. Well, I love being social though. I know it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and you see how far it's taken me up to this point. Um, yeah. Plains profit, a holiday life tour coming up. Uh, book deals, oh, I forgot uh, that. hurricane shout out, you know, not shout out, shout but, out to uh, the hurricane. shout out, shout out to the hurricane. Uh, no, but thinking of thinking of those folks that, that are having a, a whole lot, a whole lot worse time than what we are. And, um, and thinking about thinking about all those folks for sure. Um, up until before we started this show, because there's not a lot of people having a worse time than we are at this show right now. <laughs> yeah. At this, this point, 50, 52 minutes in, and uh <laughs> it's an absolute train wreck <laughs> uh, i don't know all right we're we're out of here we will see you next week um on the resell click great podcast